Last Thursday, Alden High School celebrated Wellness Day. Coordinators of this event have been planning since last December Wellness Day's activities and inviting a multitude of speakers. They have much to say about the creation of Wellness Day and the effort everyone involved has put into the event. Mrs. Baumgartner says that when Wellness Day lasted all week, it was half-hearted. This year, she was in charge of creating a team of teachers and engaging clubs such as Peer Wellness, Creative Writing, and Youth to Youth. Each of the Wellness Day committee members had a different role to fulfill. The initiative surrounding Wellness Day is summed up in three words, mind, body, and spirit. In regard to this day as a whole and the sessions offered, Mrs. Marco replied, It was awesome. They had so many different options and, and varieties, and uh, the presenters were all great, I thought. I thought so, too. I uh, thought it was wonderful. It started off, the day started off with a dynamic speaker, uh, Deetra Trueheart, who actually, one of our students, uh, was the person who connected me to her. Deetra Trueheart, the CEO of Trueheart Speaks Enterprises, kicked off the day with an assembly. She believed in speaking life to students and reminding them that they matter. An Alden student has participated in the program that she runs to uplift, encourage, and remind everyone from women to leaders to students that they have hidden gifts, power, and they are fine exactly how they are. As for Mrs. Tanner, she was ecstatic that she had the chance to run Chilling and Settling Down, a workshop about how to recognize stress, relax, and take personal time to pay attention to oneself. We did some mindful breathing activities, we did a body scan, um, mindful chocolate eating, which I think was a highlight for some people. But it's that idea of slowing down, checking in about how are you feeling, how is my body reacting, and um, recognizing that you are in control of your emotions. Ms. Ziegler was the Pilates instructor last Thursday afternoon. She shares that Wellness Day activities used to take place over the course of a week during advisement, lunches, or study halls. It's been condensed into one day to ensure that students have had the opportunity to participate in the sessions and activities hosted by staff members and outside presenters such as kids escaping drugs. At least 17 staff members stepped up to share their passion in sessions they created. The first session students attended focused on mental health awareness. We wanted to make sure that everyone got some aspect of mental health, whether it was stress and anxiety, depression, healthy relationships, something like that. Um, so there were a lot of opportunities in that first session in particular for students to hit that. Because we know um, in the phys ed classes we do our best with sports and athletics to hit the physical, but I feel like the mental is most often neglected in the school setting. So that was uh, kind of our priority for session one. And then we got to sprinkle in some fun special interests and other ones throughout the day. Mrs. Bindeman took on the tedious task of creating students' master schedules for the day. Mrs. Marco and Mrs. Baumgartner would like to thank the students for signing up to participate in the sessions and being respectful to the presenters. They would like to extend a special thanks to the teachers especially. I think the teachers really, I think they surprised themselves and how much they enjoyed it. To break up, you know, because they're under a lot of pressure too every day to make sure they get their lessons in and try to help the kids pass everything and standards and all that. So to be able to have a day where you can just kind of change it up and sit with friends and, and uh, do some of the things that we had offered them. I've got nothing but great reviews from the teachers too. It just goes to show what a fantastic school this is and a great community as well. The interviewees shared what kind of impression they hoped Alden High School students would get out of the state of mind, body, and spirit. Yeah, you do matter. That you have something that is amazing that this world needs to experience. And that more importantly, you it's, it's your responsibility to tap into it. Because the, like when we get to a space of looking at other people and comparing ourselves to other people, we miss the opportunity to love on ourselves and explore ourselves and really to show other people us. And so I think for me the biggest thing is, is I really want them to know that they matter. You can make improvements in your life and be happier if you slow down and you realize that what you have is good and that you can be grateful for what you have. When you're passionate about something, people can tell. And hopefully today my students that were in my session could tell it was something that I was genuinely excited about. We both believe that it's extremely important in your education to prepare you for the world as an adult. To be able to see people from the community come out and for them to participate in an activity of something that could be something long term that they would want to do as a career. Or just give them a break and um, give them a little bit of um, input for helping them deal with the struggles that they might be having. I think that's why Wellness Day is really important. Wellness Day was an experience that was positive not only for Alden High School students but the teachers as well. 
Mrs. Baumgartner stated the only complaint she received is that the session should fill up more of the day. It will most definitely be returning in the future. I'm Carolyn Freeman reporting for Wax News.